It is not a correct question to ask people, why don't you have children? That question is wrong. As a Muslim, you don't ask someone that question. When are you having children is not a question of a Muslim. Why? Because it can be the most hurtful question to those who cannot have children. It is Allah. لِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ يَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ إِنَاثًا وَيَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ الذُّكُورُ أَوْ يُزَوِّجُهُمْ ذُكْرَانًا وَإِنَاثًا وَيَجْعَلُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ عَقِيمًا Allah is the owner of everything. Allah is the owner of everything in the heavens and on earth. He creates what He wants. Some He gives them only males as children. Some He gives them only females as children. Who gives? Allah gives. Some He gives them both male and female, and some He does not give them neither male nor female. They don't have. So who is the giver? It is Allah. So when you say someone, when are you having children? It is an insult. My brother, unless it is your own child and you know that they were planning not to have children, you might want to discuss it in private. But trust me, don't ask people, when are you having children? However, when they do have the children, those children belong to Allah. Who do they belong to? Allah. We all belong to Allah. When someone passes away, what do we say? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. You know what it means? We all belong to Allah and we all are going to return to Allah. Who do you belong to? Allah. Who do your children belong to? Allah. So why did Allah give me children? To test me. By giving me something that would make me happy, I'm the father. You are only temporarily a custodian of the child for Allah to see whether you fulfill what Allah wants or you want to do what you want. 